all right all right all right <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back um obviously this one needs no explanation whatsoever um so we're just gonna get right into it give our honest raw unfiltered thoughts and uh you know let's see what happens uh but this guy seems he got himself quite in a pickle right so uh let's just get right into it <clears throat> excuse me boom 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 oh i don't know if it's you if it's just me but man it's the audio is just coming in through like one side i don't know if it's my headphones or not but hopefully it doesn't mess up the audio if it does well my apologies okay big time This is a complicated as fuck topic, at least to me it is, because before social media, I was rich and anonymous, and after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous, and I never expected this kind of <laughs> Whoa, 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 all right, all right, all right, all right. put that down a little bit. <laughs> oh, man, what a, way, what a way to start. What a way to start, right? I don't know. It, 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 you know, sometimes... uh. <clears throat> For example, you know, it's, and it kind of comes along with the, with the, uh, I guess you can say with the property, right? Or with, with you know, with uh, everything that surrounds in terms of being a public figure. It, but it just also depends. It depends on your, on your per persona or your character that you're building up, right? <clears throat> Obviously, if you have like the no give a f attitude and you know you don't care and you just you know you're just spitting out your mind, then you know you kind of get away with a little bit more in terms of what you uh, um. <clears throat> in terms of what you say or, or you know stuff like that right however in this case considering that it's an apology it's probably not the best of ways to start off you know in flaunting that well yeah, yeah hey guys uh just throw this you know i'm just trying to throw this right in your face like i was rich and i'm still rich now just i'm more you know i'm i'm known and i'm famous so in terms of uh an apology or starting off an apology a genuine apology uh yeah that's uh that's one way to you know, that's a pretty crazy way to start off. And then, I don't know, I think that would probably put already people in their very bad, you know, kind of have a little distaste in their mouth a little bit, you know? Anyway, let's continue. That's just kind of like, kind of threw me off guard. Like, whoa, what is it? Is this really an apology or what? Because I haven't seen it yet. So I'm just, you know, I'm wondering. Okay. Okay. Clearly. Yes. What the fuck is this? On steroids, monitored and managed by trained hormone clinician. Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness. What's this guy's message? First of all, you know, I'm not. Pause for a second, guy. You're not, you know, I'm going to pause you for a second. What is his message? That's something that, obviously, I just know. The, I did a little bit of digging and I've seen his clips here and there all the time, you know, because, you know, I, I watch a little bit of a fitness video. So it's hard not, you know, for this guy to come through uh, and uh, rat his way through my uh, algorithm. Right. But, um, yeah, it's what is his message? Is it just a, is. However, wait, 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 before we get into that, I know that there's one thing that he is doing is that he's pushing a life. So I guess that's the message, right? I'm answering my own question, uh, but he's pushing a lifestyle and products. I believe products too, right? I mean, obviously he has some sort of like, I think, I believe some kind of company revolving around this lifestyle. And uh, that's, if that's the message that he's trying to push or not the message, but that's the uh i would say that that's the financial agenda that he's trying to push isn't it and i don't know man this this guy is just right off the bat it just seems so disingenuous i mean it it's almost like theatrical in a way you know what i mean like the big sigh there it is right it's like you know the the common scripted uh as soon as i was watching i was like there it is there is the uh scripted big apology sigh so it, it it looks i don't know it just looks so theatrical and scripted at, you know even at you know we're only at one minute in so we'll see four thousand people a day okay, hold on for the message to bring awareness to the four thousand people a day who kill themselves the eighty thousand people a day that try to kill themselves our people are hurting at record rates is this guy reading 
I feel like he's reading. Depression, autoimmune, anxiety, infertility, low ambition in life. Okay. Our young men are hurting them both, feeling lost weak and submissive so i made it my job to model teach and preach a simple elegant solution called ancestral living the nine ancestral tenants so our people no longer have to suffer hold on hold on let's do let's do let me do let it let's do a little bit of digging folks the nine ancestral whatever 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 but he doesn't put it i thought he was gonna put his links or something down here i guess not <clears throat> so that's a that's a beautiful that's a beautiful message or some you know or something or a beautiful thing that you're trying to bring awareness to to the young men out there but what kind of message are you sending by lying to them you know what i mean you're selling a fake uh, a fake lifestyle or i wouldn't even say a fake lifestyle well i mean in a sense it is a fake life it is a fake lifestyle right uh you are telling these kids or these young men who are uh, through your own words who are you know troubled and uh going through you know whether it's depression or any hardships you know of themselves and <clears throat> trying to show them a way to get out of that mentality to uh to move forward and progress in their uh in uh in their life right but you're doing so in a way that it's uh, uh not in a way but you're doing so in a way that uh, uh, by what <laughs> you're doing so in a way that um uh that's you're just basically lying to them how to go about it you know, so what good, what good does that do to anybody? Right. It's, it's just, um, I mean, think about it this way. This guy has been lying, obviously, and you're trying to quote unquote, you know, get this, get your message, you know, across. But when these guys find, let's just, you know, take for what he's saying. When these guys find out that you lied, you know, and, and obviously your physique has a you know a lot to do with it you know so it's just going to bring him back to like back to step zero again you know to step one it's like well everything that i've you know supposedly been uh well, let's just say taught in a sense by this guy has it has all been a lie so it's like you know you build you're building up their 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 world around them again you know, I'm not saying that this is happening, but I guess maybe some people do buy into this. You know, you're building the world around them again to these troubled young men just so they find, just so they, you know, to finding out that you're a liar. And it just, you know, obviously it's to be expected, right? The world comes crashing down. Now, that's what happens when you lie, man. This is what happens when you lie. taken steroids i've always said no i don't touch the stuff not gonna touch the stuff never touch the stuff I convinced myself that this had nothing to do with the ancestral message i convinced myself that i'm not a competitive athlete of any kind so who the fuck am i cheating i convinced myself that this topic was a placeholder so you convinced yourself that you were not taking steroids i get the part about like you know hey you know who am i cheating right because you know you're not competing you're not competing against anybody you're not uh harming or uh, having an effect on any well you know i say that very lightly but having an effect in a sense you know like uh, in a competitive uh, atmosphere right and you know more specifically in sports or whatnot uh where him taking steroids uh it doesn't affect anybody in a competitive atmosphere right probably you know said that more uh in more ways than one but anyways uh <clears throat> so that i get it but well what do you mean you're did you you convince yourself that you're not taking steroids at all i mean it just makes no sense at this point for you know the type of things that he's saying more important conversation. yeah 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 I convinced myself that this would overshadow the 36 years of working out usually twice a day never out no you guys have to understand, you know, I'm I, obviously if you look at me, I'm, I'm probably a uh, a well-versed guy in the fitness atmosphere. And if you guys think that I'm a uh, very serious and uh, obviously you, this is your first time on the <clears throat> watching one of my videos. But uh, no, this is, you know, but having having uh, people who have been in this industry, you know, in the fitness industry and, uh, know and talking and just, you know, obviously we bring up this guy once he, you know, here and, uh, here and there, 
there, there's this this physique is uh, naturally naturally wise is impossible not impossible but you have to be you know a rare species you know this is where like genetics kick and you have to have like some pretty you know crazy you know uh yeah killer killer genetics you know to have this physique in in, in the natural way but again i don't see what the fuck this guy is trying to say it's like a, i feel like he's a, a you know it's like a half ass apology not really an apology, but you fluff it up with all these statistics of, you know, depression and young men and, you know, what they're going through and all these troublesome things. That's beautiful and whatnot. But the way he's going about it is just pretty dumb. It's honestly pretty dumb. And honestly, it's it feels very scripted. And uh, just to give you guys a little bit of insight about this guy, as far as I know, is, uh, you know, uh, if you guys read the emails, this guy planned all of this out. You know, matter of fact, I'm not even going to watch it. I'm not even finish it. You know, fuck it. <laughs> but this guy planned everything out. He, uh, he has obviously to, you know, uh, his business, his business, you know, his personal thing, you know, before he, uh, quote unquote rose to fame, uh, <clears throat> if he, you know, whatever business he had going on, doing well financially, what for himself, that's great for him, whatever. Right. However, uh, the, the, <clears throat> the, the problem that I'm seeing there is that where was I going with this? <laughs> I lost my train of thoughts for a second. But anyways, the problem that I'm uh was having with this whole thing from, from the very beginning is that this guy was using his platform in order to push an agenda. You know what I mean? He had all this planned out. That was okay. So that's where I was going. I just kind of freaking lost it. But he's saying uh he had all this planned out. This is why I'm saying like this is, was like a fake ass apology or you know half ass apology if anything. But <clears throat> the reason being is because before all of this again he was a supposedly successful guy and probably was who I don't really give a damn. But <clears throat> after afterwards, you know, if you guys saw all the me emails, it was all planned out, like meticulously planned out. You know, this guy, you know, said by this, you know, this point or this, uh, this year or whatnot, I want to be at this many followers, you know, or subscribers or have this much retention of, you know, whatever it is, popularity, fame, all, all you know, those type of analytics, right? He had those things planned out and then he had a way that he was going to go about it. So for him to say, well, I, I lied to myself or whatever it is, or, you know, I convinced myself, no, fuck that, man. Well, yeah, obviously you did, you know? I wouldn't say you lied to yourself, but you, you were, uh, it would be more like you were fully aware, fully aware of what you were doing and saying, you know, there's, it's almost like, uh, this is how I take it just right now. It's coming off the dome. Maybe I'm, you know, it's a very bad, uh, analogy here, but it's like someone who kills somebody, right. You know, where it's like a, a an immediate reaction, you know, if you hit me or hurts me or punch me and I just killed you. Right. Or, you know, you let's just you know don't dig too much into the analogy but boom that's murder right but <clears throat> but but then there's a difference from that to you know planning the murder out right planning to kill somebody to to kill somebody that's a big i mean the result is a result but still the way you went about it you know one was one could say one is a reaction whereas the other one is like you know you planned for all of this you know so same he, so this is how i put it here now this guy to say like well he you know maybe he didn't expect certain things or or uh, you know to his quote uh he was uh he convinced himself that he wasn't doing anything wrong well no you fully were, were aware of what you were doing now whether you thought it was wrong or not i don't know i just obviously i don't think so i think but i think he was uh pretty uh deceiving and here's why because again uh earlier i mentioned that he you know he's pushing a lifestyle and I'm, there's no doubt, no doubt in my mind. And I, and I don't fault him for this. I don't fault anybody for this, you know, where he's pushing this agenda for, you know, uh, for fame and also for financial gain. <clears throat> no doubt in my mind. It's just for those two mere fact. And of course, if you want to throw in the, you know, the little, uh, the fluff that he gave around this, uh, this half-ass apology about, you know, bringing awareness to this, this or this. Yeah. Okay. We'll throw that in there as well. Even though I, you know, pretty much don't believe that bullshit. <clears throat> uh, but if we're considering those three things, Hey, I, st I, that's fine. But he was doing, doing so in a very deceiving way. Right. Which is, 
I feel that's you know, for example, if I bought if I buy any if he has any merch or whatever products that he is putting out there, I'd I would want my refund. You know? <clears throat> because that's you're basing it all off of that. You know what I mean? This guy is profiting off of that. And that's why I don't that's what I don't get, and that's what I don't like. That you know, for people who give these half ass apologies and they, they think like, well, I'm just you know doing this for this and this and this. Well, no, no, you're not. No, you're absolutely not. And again, it's going back to to uh, the emails that were uh, released, um, or not. I want to say released, but I don't know how, how or what or who uh, let those get leaked. But um, but the emails that were leaked, you know, it says it. You you meticulously uh, meticulously plan this out. And again, if it's it's all for your own you know benefit, for your financial gain and for your fame. So it leads me to say, like, as to quoting him in the very beginning, well, I was a, uh, I was rich, but not pretty much, you know, paraphrasing probably, I was rich but not famous, but now I'm rich and famous. Well, you know what, you know, and this kind of just hit me in my mind. Obviously, you guys know this is raw, unfiltered, right? We don't cut these fucking videos. We just put them out there. So obviously you're going to see a lot of uh, 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 or something, right? Or stuttering. So my apologies again, if this is your first time, uh, but it is what it is. Anyways, um, uh, it just hit me like someone like this is, is, uh, is very, very self-centered, very selfish. Here's why, you know, obviously I, I don't, I don't want to say I necessarily, you know, fault anybody for trying to get you know famous or whatever right I, that, that's fine it is what it is you know to to get a little bit of public uh attention right uh, that's fine however this guy in a sense is preaching like i just want to bring awareness to this oh that's great but you know a lot of people who want to bring awareness to something they lack something right they either lack the fame or they lack the money it's one of those two big you know uh one of those two big sources this guy had the money so I feel, I feel now the reason, <clears throat> according to him, he was rich. That's why I'm saying he had the money. What makes him a big douche, in my opinion, is that he's, uh, what you're pretty much saying that that was not enough to you. That was not enough just to have the money. It's like, basically I'll put it like this in more simpler, you know, uh, just frankly speaking, you could have easily helped these causes out. You know what I mean? You could have easily brought attention, you know, in your own way or not in your own way, but more, more so like, uh, <clears throat> using your source of having, you know, this wealth, bring attention to that issue. However, I feel like this, what you planned out, what you, what this guy has created was more so for his own ego. You know what I mean? Like, Hey, I'm the fucking guy who's doing all of this. You know what I mean? Because honestly, if you look at this guy, I don't, I, I mean, I've watched a few videos, clips here and there. I don't see anything. I don't, I don't see there's, there's, uh, I haven't seen clips and maybe just because I've only seen clips, right? But I have yet to see any clips from him, as, from him. Again, I have yet to see if they are out there. That's great. But if not, I mean, but personally, I haven't <clears throat> to see him like pushing this message before anything. All I see him pushing is fitness bullshit. You know what I mean? Like just to say, well, if you, uh, this ancestor or whatever bullshit thing that if you follow these, uh, these ways, then you can get jacked like me, or you can have this physique. <clears throat> that's, that's pretty much, that's the only message that I'm getting across. That's the, that's, that's not what I get. When I see this guy, when I hear this guy <clears throat> in the clips that I've seen, right? So that, that's what doesn't make sense to me. Like it, it's like, you, you really gotta be a, you know, like I said, a self-centered person, you know, just pretty much selfish because he just wanted the attention i feel i feel like it wasn't again it wasn't back to the original thing was that he wasn't in it wasn't enough for him just to have the wealth you know there's a lot <clears throat> it's like uh pretty much just th think of it like this you're i you know i try to live my life in an in the most honest way as, as possible right and <clears throat> not honest way but most uh uh you know uh honest and kindest way as possible right where you know be good to others and whatnot when I see a person who's in need, if I'm able to, I, I you know, I will, if I'm able to, I will, you know, help them out in the way, in the best way that I can. Right. 
so then there's that but then and then there's a difference of you know push and whoa, whoa, whoa before i go on <laughs> all right and then that's it right whereas if i help a person and then i want to tell everybody about it you know we'll just keep it very simple and then i want to tell everybody about the fucking good deed that i did I feel like this is what this kind this guy is kind of doing mixed in us as well with you know just juicing up his own ego like hey guys um this is and this is only based on his apology because again i don't even take it you know wholeheartedly of what uh of what his uh, explanation is i just i really think that he's just uh bsing this it's i think it's scripted uh if you guys don't know like this guy he you know once he got his fame is why he hired, hired a production team you know, to help him with recording, to help him with, you know, these, you know, what I think this one is a scripted ass apology because he had no choice. You know, the big sign, the beginning and everything. So again, it's like, what you know, to the simple analogy that I was giving, like about, you know, uh, doing a good deed and then also wanting fame from it. I feel like this is what this guy is uh, in this message in this specifically to this video is what this guy is trying to do. This is all I got from me. I was like, oh, okay, well, so you wanted basically to do a good deed, but you wanted to get noticed. You wanted to be known as that guy. Because again, a lot of people, you know, when they try to bring uh, attention to something, you know, they're lacking two things. Either they're lacking, you know, fame, right? Attention, uh, uh, you know, public attention to the, uh, <clears throat> to the project or they're lacking, you know, money. And obviously a lot of times those things go hand in hand. A lot of times go to hand in hand. They don't have to, but a lot of times they do. And but however, you know, the, the key one being um, a wealth, right? Having fin uh, financial resources or sources. Because, right, you can have the attention all you want, but if there's no money going through, then, you know, these projects or these awareness things that you, you're trying to bring attention to, you know, they, they don't go anywhere. So, again, this guy had, quote, you know, quoting him, he was rich before, then you can easily start, you know, start fundraisers start um start what start yeah start start fundraisers and I, I, I don't know what it is foundations something right using your wealth using that source that resource that you know that you know for, hey to your credit that you have and bring attention to this uh to these things to these issues but it's not like that it's more that you you know in in my opinion it was not like that you know, it, it wasn't enough. You wanted attention. You were thinking, what's the best way in order to get attention for himself? I'm not even saying for the issue. I'm no fuck the issue or, or for the awareness. And for, you know, for, for the awareness of, you know, uh, of what he's, you know, what he's trying to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to preach about, you know, the, the young, the young guys and, you know, their, the, the difficulties of young men and their mentality and you know the the depression and blah, blah 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 right no this guy was just you know just trying to serve his own ego i feel at the, at the very end of the day and that's uh you know it's one of the biggest lessons not one of the biggest lessons but it's a typical and cliche lesson learned don't fucking fake it folks because uh this is what it gets you this guy very very much well knew what he was doing if you guys think this was an apology, fuck no. This this was at, at most a half ass apology. I think this was scripted. I think uh, it was also like, you know, you have no choice. You have no choice <clears throat> but to uh, issue an apology because, you know, you everything came out. You know, it's a, quote unquote, you've been exposed. And it is what it is, you know. Now, however, had this guy just put a fucking camera right to his face his phone whatever it is just sat there and like you know what just just started ripping you because know, i don't know you know it's it's hard to separate because obviously this he just he said himself this is a you know a character a persona something that he was building himself into or up to or whatever kind of to create in order to bring awareness to uh to these other issues to the social issues so but still like if that's the case you know if he would have just put a camera right in front of his face and then just started you know just, just spitting out his mind like hey you know guys i fucked up you know there's no other way to put it you know i was just <clears throat> you know it was just a persona i was trying to build you know whether it's for his own you know better you know better fulfillment uh, for whatever the reason may be but you know I, I i tried to you know 
obviously I did it in a very wrong way. And, uh, there's no way I got caught. It is what it is. You know, my sincerest apologies, of course, to those people, to those young men or to anybody who uh, may have had a belief in him in whatever ways they may have been, you know, and you let them down, blah, 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 apology, apology, apology. You know what? I want to take on like, Hey, you know what? This guy's just owning up to it. He knew he effed up and you know, there is no, um, like, you know, uh, how to say, I, I don't feel that fakeness, you know what I mean? But here I feel like, you know, again, it's all produced with the big sigh, what, what the, the intro, obviously, like I said, you know, it just kind of rubs people the wrong way. When you started off saying like, I was rich, but not famous. Now I'm rich, but I'm famous. Come on, man. <laughs> you know, fire that production team. Cause that's a shitty way to start anything. You know what? Even with all of this, with all of this, you know, with the, with the whole setup, you know, he's still into this character persona or himself. Now this is this is probably himself, maybe not. But again, this guy got caught. It is what it is. A lot of people have been saying it. This is just what happens when you let you know, when you, yeah, when you probably go things around uh, about the wrong way. And I feel like he did have a chance to kind of own up to it, to own up to it, and uh, you know, give a give an apology. Because obviously, you know, I don't, I don't. Do I think this guy should be uh, like? canceled and whatnot hell no fuck no come on now let's let's relax on that a, a little bit now but do i think you know he <clears throat> had he given it so yeah i do think he get, he should be given a second uh, a second opportunity if we had got a sincere apology do i still think he deserves another opportunity well, i don't know that's up to other people that's not up to me right but i do think that considering this apology I do think this guy is still lying. He's uh, in terms of his uh, sincerity. It's it's more. It's so as we say, it's just a PR apology, and it's just uh, it's pretty fake. <laughs> All right. I didn't. I thought I was gonna watch it because it wasn't that long, six minutes and thirty three seconds. But I heard enough. This guy was just full of it, and uh, it's no re no wonder why a lot of people didn't want to have him on their podcast. You know, and obviously the podcast that he has been on. Well, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, that's uh that's my take. Sucks for this guy, but doesn't really, you know. Glad to see that these you know these type of guys who are, uh, you know, pushing a uh, agenda for their, their fame or financial gain, uh, get you know quote unquote exposed. I do hope this guy learns from his lesson, and uh, I know it would be really interesting to see you know how he approaches approaches uh his uh how to put it, his fame, how he, how he approaches his, uh, his career now, his social media career, because, <clears throat> you know, you put it out there already, you know, you, that this was the reason why you were trying to push this character and this, uh, this persona, right. Or you build yourself up to being like this or, or setting things up the way you did in order to bring awareness to this uh, social issue with the young men. So I want to see that same energy. I want to see how he, he continues to try to bring awareness to that because if it's not like this, then I want to see how, what is he going to go on a apology uh, podcast tour? It's stupid. You know, it's pretty much stupid. You know, there's been a, quite a few, you know, few podcasts that I watch and uh, a lot of, you know, really big ones to the biggest one, you know, that they <clears throat> mentioned where, you know, he, they, he reaches out to them. But, you know, they're like, you know, yeah, they're, they want nothing with, you know, to do with this guy. Again, I feel like now he's just going to use this to go on an apology tour and that's it. Apology podcast tour. So, I don't know. Good luck to this guy. Guy sounds and, and uh, sounds like a douche. Just my opinion. But nonetheless, I do hope that, uh, you know, he, again, it's his production team. So he probably has just nothing but yes men around him. But hopefully uh, his family or his uh, personal friends do get, you know, reach out to him and say how bullshit this looks. So that's about it. Just my take. If I offended anyone, my apologies. Uh, I'd be interested to see you and to know what your guys' take is. And last but not least, you guys know that this is raw, uncut, and unfiltered. And why does it sound like I'm, uh, you know, throwing up an ad for, you know, a certain <laughs> for certain content but oh man it just sounds just so lewd but anyways uh yeah my apologies <clears throat> for the stuttering and whatnot 
And uh, but as always, thank you guys for tuning in. Take care, take it easy, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right.